Hello and welcome to John John Removes Reviews Movies Late at Night Live uh, Premiere for Premiere. Um, uh, this uh, shit. I didn't think of a movie. Fuck. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna pick a movie. And we're going to talk about it. And don't worry about what's going on with all this shit. It's just part of something else. So, frick. Um, 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 yes. Here we go. We're going to talk about The Game. One of my favorite freaking movies uh, directed by the Facebook man. Facebook, not John, not... Jesse Geisenberg. What was his name? Je- uh, he did X-Men. That was the other guy. David Fincher. That was the other... No, David Brent. Doesn't matter. Uh, Chris, or David, or uh, The Game. It's on the Criterion, okay? Which, um... I don't know about this cover. Like, I think it's neat, but it just, like... It's kind of a spoilers, for one, like, for the ending. And, uh... And also, like... It's not very, like, I mean, the side, it's just like, it's not as eye-catching, eye-popping, eye-catching as, um, anyway, the movie is about, uh, Keith Doug, Keith, Kirk Douglas, Michael Douglas is a guy who's, like, rich, and he has an ex-wife, oh, shit, I shouldn't be fucking with this shit, damn it, um, he has like a maid and he makes she makes him a burger and it's in the oven and like she lives in a, a shack outside of um his mansion and there's a clown uh that has a key and a camera in its face and um and Sean Penn is his brother and he's like here's this game I got you and there's keys in the uh drug uh car and he's like ah and then he gets a phone call from the payphone and it's the conversation oh and there's the girl who like is part of it um anyway the movie i'm not gonna spoil it it's a good movie check it out it's on dvd or you know it's a really good check it for the um the part where that guy is in it from from the commercial. Uh, five stars. Boy, have I made a mess of things. You know who else made a mess of things? Ah. Um... Johnny Five of oh shit, do it. is it over here? I thought I saw one or two. Fuck. Short Circuit, starring Johnny Five and uh, Stuve Stuve Gutterberg and Gal, uh, War Games Girl. War, where's War? Oh fuck, it's probably. Shit. War Game or um, Short Circuit starring, I already said that. Um, and also uh, Ali Sheedy, who was quite a doll. She was also in um, Karate. Uh, the uh, Karate Kid. Um, and what's his name? The guy who was offensive. It's like he was an Indian and he's not really. If Fisher Stevens. The guy from Hackers, who's like, I'm not really Indian, but he could have fooled me when I was a little kid. So anyway, uh, Short Circuit is about um, Johnny Five, who gets electrocuted and becomes like, oh, I'm like not a, 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 a war machine. Copyright Marvel. Copyright what was his name in Iron Man? Whoa, God, I cannot, I cannot fucking, are you shitting me? 
All right, get it together. Get it together, Jono. So, comrade, or some uh, con ugh, short circuit is about Ali Sheedy falling in love with a robot who looks like a cockroach, as seen in this scene. So, you know, if you're into that, check it out. I guess I was inadvertently into that as a little kid because I watch this a lot. <sighs> look, the opening title, look it up on YouTube. The opening title, it sounds like fucking Clock DVA. Look up Sound Mirror by Clock DVA. And then also watch the opening titles to um, Short Circuit. Thank you very much. I give this movie a rating. Uh, fucking shit. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jono uh, Reviews Movies Late at Night, Late at Night Live, and. Well, I've got a stack of blue grays here that, um, I got a notification. Um, so I didn't pay attention to the stack. I just fucking randomized. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'm losing daylight, so I'm going to just pick one, one. I'm just going to pick a movie. What do we got here? We've got, um, Hobgoblins. That was the... The worst movie MST3000 saw, Sloan. What was his name? Rick Sloan. He did pornos. <laughs> and then he did Hobgoblins. <laughs> and then he did a sequel like 30 years later because it was the trend at the time. Uh, this movie is terrible. I, the puppet work is pretty okay, but you could see like the shadow. You could see a guy holding the puppet in one scene. I didn't want to talk about that. I'm sorry. Um, oh my God, the incredible! I'll talk about this movie. Get out of here, other movies. Incredible, incredible melting man. It's the movie. <laughs> it's just, it's the story about a man who goes to what was it Mars, Saturn, <laughs> flight to. Saturn. This is 1977. Yeah, 1977. Um, they're flying to Saturn, and then they co he comes back to Earth. And he's like hurt or something and they put him in a hospital and it's like he's got bandages all over him and then just look it up on the youtube the scene where the nurse is running away because it's like the like just the slowest of motions but she's screaming in real time <laughs> and she breaks the, the glass Anyway, look, this is, this is, <laughs> this is the makeup job. Was it Rick Baker? It feels like too old. Um, makeup was by the American, yeah, it was Rick Baker. Holy shit. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty good for like, I guess probably his first job. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, that was what it made it him incredible is that he just melted and then he needed to eat the flesh of people to stay alive. He dies. Harry and the Hendersons, holy shit. Hello, welcome, oh shit. Welcome again to another Jono uh, review, reviews movies late at night. Shit, no, I had a movie picked out. Hang on. All right. Oh, here it is. It's, it was easy. All right. Here we go. We're going to be talking about um, Independence Day, ID4. It's the fourth movie in the Independence Day Massacre. Or, I'm sorry. Why did... Okay, so this movie is about the... Uh, this movie is about Will, Will, uh, Will Smith. Oh, God damn it. Will Smith, 
who's a doctor or who's a um, pilot. Whoa. Who's a pilot in uh, the, uh, you know, or whatever, who cares? And he like wants to go to space. It's like, oh, we get it, dude. You want to go to space because you're a guy. And, uh, and then Bill Pullman's in it. He plays the president. And he's all like, today is our, in our Independence Day. And um, what's his name? Randy Newman is like a homeless guy. And he's like, hey, well, here I am. I'm back. Well, like when he sacrifices himself because the president, did, his missile didn't work. Not his fault. But then he sacrificed himself. And then fucking Data from Starman or Star Trek. What's his name? Stinger. Brian Stinger. No. Data. Whatever. It doesn't matter. He's the scientist and he's all like, it's probably why they came to our planet. Um, he gets killed, but somehow comes in the sequel. Who cares? He just needed the money, I guess. And then uh, Will Fer or Will Smith saves the day with Jeff Goldman because he also was a scientist who biked and recycled. And he developed a website, or he developed a virus that was like, oh, I guess the aliens use Apple computers. So check it out. I give it, I give it, you know, eight aliens out of 10 even though they ripped off aliens in the design of the aliens i gave it seven aliens out of 10. Fuck. Welcome to Genre Reviews, Movies Late at Night Live. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. It's just that the format's weird. Listen, I'll explain. I'll explain. We're going to do Jerry Maguire, okay? Don't worry about it. But uh, the point is, is that this is not how I was going to do the thing. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I'm like fucking, I'm ready, right? I'm ready to do the whole blah, blah, blah. But I have to talk about this particular release uh, for, uh, for, you know, I got this fucking Jerry Maguire socks, as you saw. I got it from everything is ter everything is terrible com. I also have an enamel pin that I can't fucking locate. I spent, you know, I'm not going to tell you how long I spent looking for it. So either one of my stupid friends has has it, and I forgot to I forgot I loaned it to them, or you know, I, I probably lost it. Anyway, so Jerry Jer Maguire is. Um, Tom Hanks, or no, I'm sorry, Tom Cruise is Jerry Maguire starring, or uh, he's a sports agent guy who, um, he buys athletes, uh, he buys, you know, uh, well, Courtney, Courtney, play, Corbin Gooding Jr. is one of the guys he gets, and he's all like, show me the money, everybody knows the fucking scene, right, show, you know, he's like, say it, and I'll, do it and then jay moore is all like fuck you i'm gonna take your girlfriend kelly preston dude she you know she's she's you know wasting her time with uh what's his name the guy who's not into ladies john travolta you know i'm going way too much into okay so anyway jerry mcguire is like you know who's coming with me and and, and renee gazelweger is like i'm gonna come with you baby you had me at hello Okay, great. That's the review. It's a good movie. So anyway, I want to talk about this DVD release, okay? This came out, what, 98? 90, um, <clears throat> 96 or something like that? I need to know. 96. Okay, so this is a 2002 release DVD. It has all of the fucking shit. Look at this fucking kid. I fucking hate this kid. This kid ruins the movie, all right? There, there's a fucking booklet in here that, look at this, like, they should have just had this on the cover. It should have just been this. Jerry Maguire starring Tom Cruise. Like, they really went all out to like have this die cut fucking thing here to like, what, oh my fucking God, are you shitting me? Oh my God, I didn't even know, whoa, I almost fucking broke the, he's on the inside too. He's here, look at this, he's fucking, Oh my God, that's so irresponsible.
Hello! Oh, fuck. Hello! Uh, welcome to John O. Reviews Movies Late at Night Live. I am Mrs. Doubtfire. <coughs> and today we're going to be reviewing Mrs. Doubtfire. Today we're going to be reviewing Mrs. Doubtfire on Blu-ray, starring Robin Williams and uh, Shannon Fields and Golden Double O. Pass uh, and in a movie the whole family could enjoy. Check it out on, uh, so it's about a, you know, whatever. It's about, a, it's, it's, it's a story about a family who hates Robin Williams and he's like a guy who does voices and shit and he like becomes a lady, a grandma, to help out because his kids are fucking Sally Fields a bitch. And then, um, and then, and then, uh, Robin Williams, or he, uh, what does he do? Oh, he puts the cayenne pepper in the fucking jambalaya, so to kill Christian or to kill James Bond. And then the guy who I keep thinking is um, what's his name? Uh, Rob Ast or Rob Reiner? Um, Rob Reiner. It's not him though. But he's like, hey, I'm gonna do a kids show, and then he goes to he's like doing a Flintstones, right? He's being a tool places at once, and then he's all like. Um, what is that? This is this is wrong. Just so you know, this is this. Uh, D Robin Williams saves the film. Great film, classic. But seriously, what he did was like borderline psychotic and you know abusive. And you know, I mean, at least he's not an alcoholic. But still, which is worse, being an alcoholic or being you know offensive to? To, to genders. I give it five commas. Fuck. We're going not. Fuck. Ooh. Um. We're knives out. Er, er, um. Uh, Knives Out, um, which is a movie about, which is a movie about, um, uh, it's a mystery movie we've not seen since, um, whatever. It's Ryan Johnson's apology, that's right, I said it, um, for Last Jedi. So, you know, if you're, if you're on my side. Um, I mean, it was an okay movie, but it got a lot of grief, which, you know, I mean, whatever, we'll talk about that later. Um, the point is, uh, Knives Out is a brill brilliant fucking movie, probably one of the best movies of when it came out, and, uh, it's got, look at all these people that are in it, dude, it's got, uh, Daniel Craig, you know, hey, I'm Daniel Craig. And, um, he's all like, and he's, his accent was split on people because he was like, oh, you, you know, he's too Kentucky fried, but they mention it in the movie. That's the point. And, uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. Like, you know, what happened to ca ca characters in movies? It's like, oh, you know, Mark Galberg from Transformers. Who is he? Who is he in any of his mo movies? I want more characters in movies. Um, and then you had, uh, well, Jamie Billy Curtis. Do I even need to sing her praises? She's a doll. Oh, fuck, Tony Collette, dude. If you, if you, if, oh, gosh, she should win all the Oscars. She could do everything. She was in Little Miss Sunshine. She was in, uh, you know, Hereditary. She was in My So Called, or no, um, 
Tyra man. The United States. Keith Stanfield also. Sorry to bother you. No, I'm not saying that. That's from the movie. So check it out. This movie is amazing. It's awesome. If you haven't seen it, then you're probably well set in your ways. Uh, I give it five knives out of The Last Jedi. Oh, God damn it.